Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and I am here to show you, well, you've seen me fire a grenade launcher, you've seen me fire a long neck, but have you ever seen me fire something without doing anything at all? Well, you're about to find out. So, this is the Tech Shoulder Cannon. It is a really awesome tame. I, I don't know how it's going to be utilized quite yet, because I haven't seen one do that does like insane damages, but it's got a bunch of different options. Uh, it'll lock onto things. You can set whether it does from long, medium, or short range. Um, you hold your E key in order to activate this. You can actually make it so it only fires at certain things. So you don't like have to fire at all targets. Um, you can do three different modes. I'll show you them in a second. And then you've also got the ability to turn it off. You do not need to be wearing tech armor in order to fire this thing, which is kind of cool. It's also got a really, really good reduction in element. It doesn't use a ton of element in order to actually fire. Uh, it takes its time, but and it does have to have a direct line of sight on something, which is kind of un unfortunate. Like you can see right there. It does do increased head damage too, so it increases and scales with the damage, which is kind of nice. Um, but this guy is, it's pretty nice. I mean, I have yet to find a reason not to use it. Um, they don't do as much damage as I would like them to do, but they are pretty nice. You can see it lock on to quite a few things. And where it can be really useful is locking onto things like RGs that can be kind of a pain in the butt to take out of the sky. And uh, it can be, well, let's just show you. It can, it can do some damage to it. Now, I can also change the modes. And uh, in order to, you know, if I wanted to change modes, I don't have to, but I can. And uh, if it's going to let me, maybe it won't. I don't know. Whatever. So it can be combined with a lot of things pretty well. You can use standard mode, which increases the damage, but decreases the amount of, as you see right there, it locks on quite a bit better. But it also takes a little bit more time between shots. And then the last mode is overcharge mode, where it takes some time, loads up a shot. Each one of them uses a touch more element, but it does fire pretty quickly and does quite a bit more damage. Now, you saw that 400 right there. It's not too bad. And the benefit is, like, let's say you don't want to get snuck up on, just turn this thing on, make sure it's on players and tames only, and turn it on overcharge. Even if you, you know, are a little bit behind the ball, it's going to help you do, all, I mean, a lot of damage. 250 to 400 damage on overcharge mode. I don't know why you wouldn't just leave it on overcharge mode, but, you know, that's me. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't lose its percentage while you're just standing still. It only loses the percentage points if you are actually moving around. Now, it does lock on to pretty much everything, so make sure you don't have it on anything other than players and tames. It takes a second to lock on, so that's a negative. I haven't seen it lock on to uber fast yet, which is slightly concerning because in order for it to actually, you know, be useful, it's got to lock on quick. And if it can't log on quick, that's a problem. Now, sometimes I've also seen it where something has to be aggroed to you in order for it to work, which is, so it's not perfect yet, but it's a cool idea. But you'll notice it does start to fire and it will lock on pretty well. It predicts movement, which is nice, and uh, that's just something nice. Now, I always would carry a backup weapon and take it out if you need to. Because, you know, it's just fun to have backup weapons. Now, one way to get it to shoot a lot faster is if you do have a crossbow or something like that, and you fire at something, it'll kind of go into, like, hyper mode and allow you to actually you know do things a little bit easier so i'll go ahead and show you real quick what i mean by that if i activate the lock on technique it'll actually begin to start shooting with me and it'll do a good job of dealing with bats so cave runs might actually become a lot easier because this guy is uh well it's it's, it's really nice i think that in the long run it's going to be quite useful so let's go ahead and see, as soon as I fire, he decides to fire as well. Oh, that's a lava golem. Owie. Lava golem. Bad. It looks like he does a decent amount of damage to it and fires decently quickly as well, which is kind of nice. But lava golems are obviously a little bit bigger and more dangerous than I want to take on with this thing. So it's worth it for small teams and probably players. But I don't think it's going to be really worthwhile in order to use this like as a sole PvP use. It does help people like me that aren't the greatest at PvP, though. It's where you can kind of just 
run away and have it do a little bit of work for you. I can see it, you know, being useful in the long run. Boom. Like that. And as long as you like, extra support is always appreciated no matter what you do in PvP or PvP. So, hope this video helps you out a little bit and teach out.